Hello friends, in continuation with the last lecture, now we are going to talk about the next topic that is uh, origin of the energy gaps in the material. Right. So, uh, end of the last uh, topic or the last lecture was uh, something we uh, talk about the time independent state which was represented by the standing uh, waves and the two different forms of the standing waves uh, from the traveling wave solutions uh, we have seen uh, that is nothing but the uh, uh, psi plus uh, is equal to e raise to i pi x by a plus e raise to minus i pi x by a that is nothing but the 2 times cos pi x by a and similarly for psi minus we have uh, seen it right. Now, uh, these are the standing waves uh, which are going towards the right and the left okay. and uh, depends upon the sign of this plus. So, we can have the psi plus or the psi um, minus ok. Now, let us see uh, how the uh, there uh, occurs the energy gaps in the material ok. So, the two standing waves a uh, pile of the electrons at the different regions ok. The which are these regions in the previous lecture we have seen this is the one of the region and the another one the, they are represented with the A and uh, B over uh, here ok. So, now uh, this uh, uh, a waves actually pile up the electrons at the different regions and how they are uh, different values of the potential energy. So, obviously, they are at the different uh, regions. So, their potential energy is uh, uh, different because uh, here the potential energy is different one at this point the potential energy is a uh, different one ok. Uh, so, uh, the probability and actually this is the uh, and have the different uh, uh, values of the potential energy and this is the origin of the energy gaps. What is the origin of the energy gap? That is nothing but the standing waves a pile of the electrons at the different regions and how the different values of the potential energy ok. Uh, so, the probability density obviously that gives us the occurrence of the particle or the electron within the given region. The probability density of the particle is uh, given by uh, psi star psi ok, psi star psi and that can be also uh, written as a, a mod a psi square as well ok. Uh, so, uh, for a pure travelling wave for a pure travelling wave that is e raise to uh, i k x we can have the probability density is uh, equal to psi star psi that is e raise to minus i k x complex conjugate of the wave function and the e raise to uh, plus i k x that will give us the 1 and 1 is a constant value ok, 1 is a constant value. So, uh, that the, uh, the charge density is not constant ok. Now, the charge density is not constant for the uh, uh, linear combination of the plane waves ok. So, one of the this is the representation of the e raise to i k x is a representation of the plane wave. Obviously, there is a another wave this is e raise to minus i k x as well right. So, and if you take the linear combination of uh, them then uh, that uh, does not uh, give us the uh, that charge density is uh, not the uh, constant in that. Uh, case ok. Uh, so, uh, so, here uh, we will consider the standing waves that is uh, which is uh, psi plus ok, psi plus is equal to rho plus ok. So, corresponding um, uh, probability density or the charge dens uh, probability density is considered as a rho plus is mod psi plus square is proportional to the uh, cos square pi x by a because we know that the psi plus is uh, nothing but the uh, 2 cos uh, pi x by a and its complex conjugate remains the same. So, it gives a cos square pi x by a. So, this function piles up the electrons on the positive ions center at x is equal to 0, x is equal to a plus, uh, plus 2 a 3 a as shown in the figure we can here. So, this is the uh, something we can have the uh, this is the ion core here, 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 here. So, this is a corresponding energy uh, potential energy distribution for this uh, atoms present at this uh, lattice uh, side. So, we can have here this is nothing but the uh, uh, this is the ion cores atoms and what we can have this is the psi plus which is uh, going uh, uh, going away going away and the, uh, similarly what we can have the this is a psi minus mod square. So, uh, this probability density ok at that point. So, the so, this function ok. So, uh, this function already we have seen that uh, at x equal to a x equal to 2 a. So, oh, this is the distance between the two atoms that is the lattice constant we call it as 
okay, and at that point the potential energy is the lowest one. So, at that point, so here at this point, so if you just look at this potential, so this will go up to the infinity. So, this will go up to the infinity and when it goes to the uh, infinity, uh, uh, potential energy goes to the uh, lower and lower to the minus infinity, minus infinity. So, that is the lowest uh, possible energy for uh, it. Okay. Now, so uh, what the figure 1 here uh, it gives us, uh, this is nothing but the variation of the electrostatic potential energy uh, of a conduction electron in the field of the positive ion core. So, this is considered as a positive ion uh, uh, cores. So, the ion cores bear a net positive charge Okay, it bears a net positive charge. Why? Because atoms are polarized in a metal. Atoms are polarized in a metal. Why? Because the, you know, there are free electrons. Uh, we have considered the model. Okay, uh, in a metal. so with uh, the valence electrons taken off to form the conduction uh, to uh, form the conduction band. So they are uh, free and uh, they are available for the uh, current conduction. So. Mm. Uh, they have formed the conduction band there. So, the potential energy of the that particular electron in the field of the positive ion is a negative. Why? Because the positive ion core is there and the electron is a negative one. So, if you just try to understand, try to consider the electrostatic potential between them that becomes a negative one and that gives us the attractive uh, force between uh, them, attractive force between them. So, uh, for the other standing view that is uh, uh, psi minus, psi minus uh, the probability density is given as a rho of minus is nothing but the mod psi minus square is proportional to the uh, sin square pi x by a and which concentrates the electron away from the ion core. Okay. This concentrates the electron away from the uh, core because when x is equal to 0 then this uh, density becomes a 0, this density becomes a 0 and where uh, earlier case the f and x becomes a 0 at that time the rho becomes a uh, maximum one, rho becomes a maximum because cos is uh, uh, maximum at uh, uh, when theta is our argument goes to the 0 and, and this becomes a uh, sign becomes a 0 when the his argument becomes a 0. Okay. So, uh, now uh, what we can say when we try to calculate the average uh, uh, or the expectation values of the potential energy uh, over these uh, three uh, charge uh, distributions we find the potential energy uh, of uh, and rho plus is lower okay uh, potential energy of the rho plus is lower than that of the traveling wave where, uh, whereas okay so what we have seen we can see over here that the potential energy okay potential energy uh, of uh, the rho plus okay rho plus uh, is uh, lower than lower than uh, that of the traveling wave that of the traveling wave. So, we can see over here this is a uh, what we can say the is a traveling wave okay. and this is a rho plus. So, if it has the uh, lower energy than the traveling uh, wave whereas the potential energy of the rho minus okay, rho minus okay. So, what we can have rho minus has the uh, uh, the potential energy uh, rho minus is higher than uh, the traveling wave. So, we uh, have the now, uh, we have the energy gap of the E g, okay. we have the energy gap of the E g which we have seen in the last case as well. So, here what we can have here the this is the traveling wave for the one case and the, this is the uh, another case. So, uh, rho plus uh, is a lower one and rho minus has the higher one in this case. So, uh, the uh, and th this uh, exhibits the forbidden gap and we call it as a uh, E g okay. and they are differed. Uh, with the uh, values of the or energies of the rho minus and rho plus by the uh, eg and that eg is uh, uh, is considered as the uh, energy gaps or the band gaps so just uh, we'll try to uh, find out the energy gap at the point a uh, okay we'll just try to find out the energy gap at a and energy gap uh, uh, at the point b the wave function a uh, wave function is a psi minus okay uh, at the point B and the psi plus at the point A. So, let us try to understand the uh, magnitude of the energy gap. So, let us try to understand the magnitude of the energy gap. So, wave functions at the Brillouis uh, boundary that is k is equal to pi by A are uh, root 2 cos pi x uh, by A and uh, root 2 sin pi by x uh, normalized over the unit length of, uh, of the line. Okay. This is the 
uh, something like wave functions at the uh, real wall zone. Okay. So the potential energy. Uh, so we know the wave functions corresponding to it. Okay. At this boundary at the uh, pi by a are uh, means zone boundary we are considering here uh, of the uh, Brillouin zone and the, that is uh, given as a cos pi x by a multiplied by root 2 is a normalization constant and root 2 here in sin pi x by over the unit length. Now potential energy of that electron uh, of electron in the uh, crystal at a point x okay, in some certain point x we are just considering uh, is uh, given by u of x is equal to u into cos uh, even to cos 2 pi x by a cos 2 pi x by a. So, the first order energy difference between the uh, two standing wave, uh, wave states uh, is okay, standing wave states is given by E g. Okay. So, E g is nothing but the E g is nothing but the uh, energy at point a minus or the energy at point b minus energy at point a. So, uh, what we can have the corresponding wave functions are, are nothing but the rho uh, u of x uh, into the wave function uh, is normalization. So, we know that the expectation value e, e can be found out by uh, is nothing but the integration uh, over the given space into psi star h and psi dx if it is a one dimensional case okay, 0 to l. Okay. So, this is expectation value of the uh, that energy and the Hamilton is represented with the uh, u into cos uh, 2 pi x. Okay, cos 2 pi uh, x. So, similarly you can just try to uh, substitute the values of the uh, here u of x here u of x uh, into u uh, ok. So, what is the value of the u of x? u of x is u into cos 2 pi x by a into the mod psi plus square minus mod psi minus square. So, uh, 2 times root 2 root 2 becomes a 2 into uh, u cos 2 pi x upon a into cos square pi x uh, by a minus sin square pi x by a and um, this is nothing but the uh, if you just try to integrate it over the l or the a over the a 0 to a then um, this will give us the total energy as a u and this represents the Fourier component of the crystal potential this represents the Fourier component of the um, crystal potential because uh, we are, are having the different values of the x we are having the different values of the uh, x. Okay. So, this is is over the 0 to 1, but we can have this, this is not the limits. Okay. So, 0 to a, uh, uh, sorry, integration over the dx u cos 2 pi x upon a into cos square pi x by a minus sin square pi x by a and that represents the Fourier component of the crystal uh, potential. Thank you.